Hi, good afternoon. Uh, this is Mr. Cassidy, and today I'll be going over how to uh, write some word problems. And so we're going to start with just a mini lesson on key vocab. So let me just adjust my settings for a quick second, and we'll begin. Thanks. So here we are. Uh, first off, a variable. A variable is a letter or symbol used to represent a value that could be anything. Uh, it could change in the problem. That's why we call it variable. So x is our usual term for that. A constant is a value that does not change. So when we see plus 3 in a problem, that would be a constant. A coefficient is missing from this list, but a coefficient, coefficient, is a number in front of the variable. So it's a multiplier, like negative 2x, negative 2 is the coefficient. A numerical expression contains only constants and or operations. So that would be an expression just with like 3 plus 4 multiplied by 12. There are no variables there, so that would be a numerical expression. An algebraic expression would also contain variables. It can also have constant numbers like x plus 3. That would be an algebraic expression. You may be wondering, what's the difference between an expression and an equation? And the difference is the equal sign. An expression could be just x plus 3, whereas an equation is when you actually have another side to the equation, x plus 3 equals 12. OK, um, you are going to need to translate between algebraic expressions and words to be successful in math. Here's some ways to write mathematical operations with words. Um, if I were you, I would maybe jot these down, so feel free to pause, or uh, on the next screen I've got a much more thorough list. I will attach it to our Google Classroom. You could print it out, you could keep it in your notebooks or in your journal. So here is a really thorough one that I like to use. A few key ideas. First off, there's two missing words that I want you to add here. On multi under multiplying, we want to use the word of or each. Typically, those are words used in word problems to mean multiplication. Product times factor, those can all use multiplication. Sum, combine, plus, more than. Um, difference, decrease, less than, take away, those are all subtraction. And then division is usually quotient or divided into or out of or split or broken up is result same as equivalent to total those are all signs meaning equals and one quick thing um well i'll get there when i get there so let's begin uh translating from words to expressions so if here we have roberto is four years older than emily who is x years old we know emily is x i like to look put little notes above the problem write an expression for Roberto's age. We're not trying to write any kind of equation here. We would say, okay, older than typically means addition. So, and the word than is a tricky one. I'll get to that in a bit with uh, difference. But since he's four years older, that means he has to be four more than, and so we just do x plus four. Okay, um, x is going to represent Emily's age, and older than means greater than. Right. Uh, what if we have Joey earns five dollars for each car he watches? Washes. You should probably uh, circle that word each. Write an expression for the number of cars Joey must watch to wash to earn d dollars. So d is the total amount of money he'll earn. That's the total. So I'm going to put that with an equal sign. Now I need to write the expression over here, the other half of the equation. He earns $5 each car. Let's call a car C. And if it's each time, that means $5 per, or $5 each car, we're going to write something like 5C. Okay? Uh, you could also put, oh, if we wanted to put the expression in terms of D dollars, we could do D divided by 5. That would move the 5 over there. And the total cars are going to be those dollars divided by 5. Miriam is 5 centimeters taller than Jan. I think you're getting the hang of it. Go ahead and type that one. And you should have gotten that 
m plus 5 equals, oh, Jan is m centimeters tall, write an expression for Miriam's height in centimeters. Yeah, uh, that works. It's a little confusing because we'd probably normally put m for Miriam, but Miriam is Jan plus 5. That would be um, Miriam's height, m plus 5, because m is Jan's height. Here, Frank is twice as tall as Jan. Well, what if we combine that? So we have Jan's height is M already. How are we going to put Frank? Well, Frank has to be twice as tall. That's going to be 2M. All right. How about Marcus is twice as tall as Miriam? So that means we could use the information from Miriam and make it twice as tall. We would use parentheses here. 2 times the quantity M plus 5. Okay. How about here? Approximately 85 20 ounce plastic bottles must be recycled to produce the fiber fill for a sleeping bag. Write an expression for the number of bottles needed to make X sleeping bags. We would write 85X. If 85X equals Y, what does Y represent? Well, here Y would have to represent the total number of sleep. Uh, the total number of bottles used in all those sleeping bags. So X is the number of sleeping bags, Y would be the total number of bottles. Okay, how would you set this up? So here's your chance to try it out. Six times a number increased by three is 27. Find the number. Uh, we don't need to solve right now, I just want to get practice setting this up. Here, I would do 6 times the number, 6x, increased by 3, plus 3, equals 27. That would be a nice two-step equation. Next, a number decreased by 7 is negative 12. Well, we do x decreased by 7, minus 7, equals negative 12. How would you set this up? This is a common problem that math books love. The sum of three consecutive integers is 279. Find the numbers. This is a challenging problem, but once you know the trick, it's really not that tough. Here's how we have to think of this. Here's a number line, and I know one of those numbers is going to be x, and I want those to be three consecutive integers, so that the next number in terms of x on this number line is x plus 1. And the next number after that is x plus 2. Those are the three consecutive integers, because like if this was 20, that would be 21, because that's 20 plus 1. And this would be 22, because it's 20 plus 2. So now I can add those up. The sum of those has to be 279. So to set up this problem, I would do x plus x plus 1. You could put that in parentheses if you want, or not, plus x plus 2 is equal to 279. From there, I would group my like terms, add up my x's, and add up my integers. I would get 3x plus 3 equals 279, and then we could find that. So think to yourself, how would you do the sum of three consecutive even integers is something. Let's say it was the three consecutive even integers no, I can't do it in my head. Uh, the three consecutive integers is 30. Consecutive even integers. Well, we would say x is the first one. x plus 2 is the next one, because that would make the next even integer. And x plus 4 is the next even integer. So if we add those up, we could add those up, and we would be able to solve the problem and find out that the first one of those numbers is 8, 10, and 12 would give us the sum of 30. Okay, um, one final note is, well, why don't you solve this one? Three times the sum of a number and two, it, negative two, is 15. Find the number. So is negative 15, we'd write equals negative 15. Three times the sum of a number 3 times the sum of a number and negative 2. This is how I would write it. 
Awesome. So uh, you're going to practice this on Edge Elastic shortly. Uh, one last thing that I would be really careful is the word than. And I'm going to cover this separately here. But if it says um, five less than, um, five less than Angie's age. I don't know how to erase. Well, can't fix it now. Five less than, I was trying to spell Angie at the same time, Angie's age. Well, if I was going to write this, I would do, okay, Angie's age is going to be A. The than sort of means to flip it. So five less than means A minus five. Okay, so when we say the word less already means subtraction, but instead of writing, a lot of people do this common mistake. They'll do five minus a because they see the five less Angie, but less than usually means to flip. So be careful with the word than. That means to flip the number to the other side of the variable. All right. Um, I think you're your hearts. Have a good afternoon and practice on Edge Elastic today. All right. Bye.